So, today we got news. Do you want to say it to him? You can say it, man. What's going on, Team 20? I hope you're all super well. Jay, your cooking up is a lunch. Yeah, it is lunch. Lunch. What have we got? We got salmon. Yeah, and gnocchi. 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 Yeah. yeah, please yeah. pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Last time I pronounced it incorrectly, so now we have to pronounce it correctly. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Yeah, Sweet. Right. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> look, the language barrier gets mixed up. We're Australian, other people aren't. Gnocchi is pretty damn good. You're cooking up in butter. That's a. How many calories are in that meal? Uh, in the whole meal, like yeah. 750. And we have a Milo as well? No. No. So just that. This is what I picked up. So, where am I? I got two bass. This is going to be dinner tonight. That, ganache, and then broccoli and carrot. Now you have pretty much finished packing. Yeah, man. That's insane. We're leaving in, what, you're a week? A exactly, week today. Week today. Yeah. Wow. I'm a big week to see I guess. Yeah, I know. It's... Oh. Jay and I received some news today, which I'm going to get into later in the video, and we're going to discuss it with you guys. Obviously, the title kind of revolves around it, but yeah, we'll get into that a bit later. I'm packing up my room. It's looking, yeah, messy. Very really messy, yeah. Very messy. I'm going to show you guys that now. So this is how my room is looking now. Pretty much the same as yesterday. Over here is the box of stuff that I'll be leaving in England. Big Sam. <laughs> My baby is going to stay here. I'm not sure about that roller. I really want to somehow fit it into there. And then that's my carry-on bag. So I've got a little bit more to do and then I've got to decide like what I do with all these tablets. I'll probably keep them here and yeah, there's a lot of stuff. It's just weird that like on Sunday night, this room will pretty much be empty. That's crazy to think. But anyway, let's continue the packing session. All I'm gonna say is time has absolutely flown past me. Since I last saw you guys, I went to the mall with my girlfriend, just been editing a video and chilling out. I think I have made a decision that I will not be going to the park anymore. I will not be going to the gym anymore. That's because I don't have access to it, but I'm just going to have a couple of days off to relax head back to Australia and then work hard again. Because realistically, I'm not going to have any off time over the next, well, year. Because in Australia, when the English guys are having off season, I'll be over there in season. And then I come back for pre-season and then I'm in season and then I'm off season again. So I need a little bit of time to relax, whether that's three days, I think that's good enough for me. I just need to chill out. But anyway, I'm making dinner, so I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, this episode of Cooking with Tweety is already messed up. I got two baser fillets and I thought it was bass. I thought they were pretty much the exact same thing. But it says here, oven cooked for 14 minutes. And the reason I love bass is because you chuck it on the fry pan for five minutes and it's good to go. Now, yeah, I, oh. I messed up. Oh, that's frustrating. I really don't want to put them in the oven, but I got to do it. I don't even know how to do this. This is too advanced for me. Preheat oven. Okay, I think I get it, but uh, it's just annoying. So this is how I'm going to do it. Aluminum or aluminium. Okay, I had to stop there because crazy Spanish lady came in the room. But this is what I've cooked up. Broccoli, carrot, gnocchi, the fish. The landlord is actually over. He's in the room over there speaking with them. Look at the state of my room. This is not what you want when the landlord comes over at all. <laughs> Well, I'm lucky. So now that dinner is done, I'm going to get Jay down here to talk about this whole Crawley Town situation. Not only does it affect me, but it's affecting Jay and it affects pretty much everyone at Crawley Town. So look, it's going to be a little bit sad, but here we go. Jay, come down. Soon. So today we got news. Do you want to say it to him? You can say it, man. Crawley Town under 23s is not a thing next year. There will not be any sort of Crawley Town under 23s. There will not be a team. There will be absolutely nothing. How do you feel about it? Oh, well, for me personally, I wasn't going to come back anyway, I think. Yep. Um, not anything negative for the club. I just didn't think it was the best decision for me. Fair enough. So it doesn't really affect me too much. Obviously, it's a bit sad for the other players and the coaches and stuff, but it's what, what was what, what's done, so you can't really change yeah. it. I think if it was a proper thing where we were in a league, yeah. we were being paid, 
then that would be something we'd both 100% consider. Yeah. But we're not in that situation. And like you said, you didn't think it was best for you. I always knew that there may be a possibility this wouldn't go ahead. I yeah. knew that from day one, mm -hmm. that it might not be a thing next year. So my whole planning for next season was, this isn't going to be here next yeah. year. And if it was, then, well, I've got something there. So look, it's not going to affect me a whole lot. And it looks like it's not going to affect no, you too much. I feel like we both planned well expecting it not to be on yeah and that's so. with life you can't expect things to happen if, imagine if we both were here like relying on Crawley to be a thing yeah yeah well, what do we do exactly so we we're smart enough to think ahead and yeah Aussies Aussies <laughs> so I want to say thank you to Crawley for putting together the Crawley Town Under 23 is a massive thank you to Tolga my coach all the players there uh, for what it was it was a great experience to be training it to be available. I know a lot of teams and different academies you have to pay. Yep. Uh, so it was very good to have that set up where we were able to train three, four times a week. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the experience and I think I've become a better player, would you say? Yeah, definitely. And for Same you as well, yeah, the coach yeah. went on all the time about how Jay improved, improved, improved. Yeah. So anything you want to say? Oh, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was involved, really. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it was good, but now we focus back. I would say that was more of an experience. It has progressed us in a sense to becoming professional footballers, yeah. but in another sense, not really. Yeah. There's limitations to it, but it's the same with everything. Yeah. So I, I need to be playing next year. That's the biggest thing for me. My focus is playing games to be in that shop window for clubs. Otherwise, it will be like this year where I'm just training I'm not playing games, there's no opportunity to be seen by anyone, scouts, agents, different clubs, to move up the divisions. Now, what's your focus for next year? Cause, uh, yeah, the same. From, it's similar? Very similar, yeah. Right. I'm trying to get into a, a decent club, yep. and then work my way into the first team situation. Yeah, because yeah, we need to be in the shop window, it's the same for everything, and it's difficult, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. To get into a decent club, uh, what would you say a decent club would be? What level? Oh, anything. Anything... <laughs> Like it's gonna one of those situations where you don't want to go and try out for a Premier League club, for example. There's no point. Of course. But you don't want to go too low where there's no one even looking at that sort of league. Yeah. And you have to really. And that in between point. point yeah, yeah. That's the most difficult point to find contacts, go to trial. But in pre-season, you've been here longer than me. I think we've vaguely touched on this. Yeah. It's much easier to get trials. Yeah, it's easy to get trials. Why is that? Because they're looking for players. Yeah. Yeah, and they'll look at your CV instead of just going, oh, throw it to the pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll actually have a look, so... Yeah. And I assume in pre-season they play against other clubs yeah. and they kind of just give you some time and see what you like. Exactly, yeah. Because no, there's nothing to win or lose, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, they only get to look at you. And what, they're not going to lose anything. They exactly. lose five minutes. Yep. So, yeah, sad times, cruelly. It's been nice, it's but... Been nice. Yeah, we gotta move on. Now it's really, we don't know whether we're gonna be in the same spot or not. Yeah, Because there was an opportunity there that we both live in Crawley and live together again. Yeah, yeah. But now it's really like luck of the draw. We'll if, see what happens, mate. Yeah. So, what I'm about to do now is text the scout agent guys and let him know to progress that conversation and see what can come of that because I think that's the best opportunity going forward for me. I know I've been in contact with a couple of other agents, but for me, that's the most important thing. So yeah, sad times, but exciting times ahead. Yeah. Well, positive, mate. Yeah, let's, see what, happens. Happens. let's <laughs> see what happens. Okay, so I've sent that text off to the agent. Hopefully I hear back from him either tonight or tomorrow. But basically I want to clear up a few things which you guys might be thinking. Sheldon, why don't you try and get into the Crawley Town first team? At this point, that's probably not an opportunity for me. Crawley Town under 23s and the Crawley Town first team was very separated. I didn't meet any of the first team management and I think it was three, maybe four players that went up into the first team. This was through recommendations and I don't think it's going to be a possibility for me there. So unless they ask me or I have a contact that gets me into preseason at Crawley Town, then I will not be with the club. And look, that's just football. Not all things work out as you would have liked. So it'll be interesting to see what the scout agent guy says to me. I kind of just sent him a text saying, hey, Crawley Town under 23s is no longer a thing. How are things looking for preseason? Because obviously I had Whitehawk lined up. It didn't work out there. And now we need to find a new place for me to start the preseason. I have no idea what he's going to say and I have no idea what level he's going to present to me. There might not even be anything there for me. So look, it will be interesting times ahead. I'm sure he's not going to tell me today or tomorrow what the opportunity is and where I should be going for preseason. 
that will probably come in maybe a month or so, maybe even a month and a half, and then I have to figure out where I'm going to live. That's probably the most difficult thing. Before I find a club, I need to find somewhere to live for that period of time, because if I do pre-season with, say, let's say I do pre-season with Crawley Town, then I need to find a place to live for that pre-season, because the minimum time you can rent a place for is three months. And let's say I did that, and I'm only at Crawley Town for two weeks, and then I move somewhere else a lot further away from Crawley, then it's kind of pointless. So the other option is Airbnb, although that is very very expensive. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Ugh, that's probably going to be the biggest challenge for me. Maybe I do just have to pay that extra money as much as I don't want to. We'll see. I don't know. But I'm going to end the video there tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys will find out and I will find out what this scout agent guy has to say to me. But anyway, 10 to I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're around here. Join the journey. I'll see you tomorrow's video. Bye. Yes.